Welcome or welcome back to Barrio Tales. Today's video will be about the gang rivalry between the El Sereno gang and the Lowell Street Locos gang. Ironically, Lowell Street used to be a clique of El Sereno, but on April 28, 1995, Lowell Street gang members shot and killed Mexican Mafia made member Antonio Tonito Rodriguez, who was sitting in a car. That would solidify and ensure the green light on the Lowell Street Locos who embraced being greenlit by the Mexican Mafia. But that wasn't the first time Lowell Street had gotten themselves on the Mexican Mafia's bad side. A few years prior, in 1992, Lowell Street had refused to pay taxes to a tax collector from the El Serena Rifa gang on behalf of the MA. When Lowell Street refused to pay taxes, the attack on Lowell Street had begun. In December of 1992, two Lowell Street members were stabbed in the Los Angeles County Jail, but they survived. The first death of a Lowell Street member since the green light was Jose Flaco Uribe, who was killed in the Los Angeles County Jail, stabbed to death several times on February 6, 1993. From jail to the streets, Lowell would have issues with El Serena Rifa. In the year of 1997, a Lowell gang member named Lawrence had been murdered by the El Sereno Lock Street clique. To exact revenge, two years later in 1999, Carlos Pedroza lived in a neighborhood claimed by the Lock Street gang. Pedroza was friendly with several Lock members, but was not himself a member. On the afternoon of March 31, 1999, Pedroza and two of his cousins, one of whom was a Lock member, were walking on the street. A Honda Accord drove past them, and someone inside the car yelled, Lowell. The Accord, which Pedroza described as the color of a goldfish, made a U-turn. Because of recent violent encounters between Locke and their neighboring rival, Lowell Street Gang, Pedroza and his cousins fled. The following afternoon, April 1st, Pedroza stood on the street outside of his home and talked to a friend, Sita Rouse, and her cousin, Leanna Machado. The women were inside of Rouse's car. Pedroza glanced up and saw a Honda. Then a barrage of gunshots was fired. Rouse and Machado ducked down in Rouse's car. Pedroza was struck in the arm by one of the bullets. In all, 10 spent 9mm bullet casings were found at the scene of the shooting. Pedroza ran to his house. His sister's mother-in-law, Linda Maldonado, came outside, helped him in, and immediately telephoned 911. The record shows that Maldonado's call was made at approximately 2.49 p.m. After the shooting had stopped, Rouse looked up and saw a Honda driving away. Two bald male occupants were inside the Honda. Too scared to get out of her car, Rouse drove for a short while and then parked her car about a block from Pedroza's home. Bullets had shattered the rear window of her car and a bullet had entered the car's left rear passenger door and exited through the front passenger window. Isabel Rojas lived on the same street as Pedroza. She heard gunshots and then saw a Honda Accord speed away. She telephoned 911 at approximately 2.50 p.m. She described the driver of the Accord as a light-complected Hispanic man, heavy set, wearing a green and black hat. LAPD officers were in an unmarked police vehicle conducting surveillance on an unrelated matter when they heard several gunshots. Shortly thereafter, they were nearly hit by a light brown Honda Accord that was driving away from the area of the shooting. There were two men in the car. The officers followed the Accord but lost sight of it in a residential neighborhood. Still searching for the Accord, the officers spotted Rouse's parked car. They stopped and Rouse reported that someone had shot at her friend while he stood outside her car. After patrol car arrived, the officers left Rouse and Machado and resumed looking for the light brown Accord. Some 10 to 15 minutes after the officers had lost sight of the Accord, they found the car parked on the street a short distance from the apartment complex in which Paul Ramirez resided. The Accord's hood was warm and its ignition had been punched. On April 6, 1999, LAPD separately viewed an array of 32 photographs. Each officer identified Paul Ramirez as the driver. The motive for the shooting of Carlos Pedroza was Paul was seeking revenge for his brother's death from two years prior. Paul Ramirez from Lowell Street was convicted of attempted murder. He was sentenced to 32 years to life. In April 2010, three Lowell Street gang members stabbed an El Sereno gang member 12 times. One of the Lowell Street gang members stated during an interview, 
that two or three years prior, the El Sereno gang member who got stabbed was involved in a drive-by shooting on the Wall Street, and this was Lowell's payback 